previously on Chasing Atlanta. Aaron Thomas, come on out and see us tonight. Clap it up for Aaron Thomas, everyone. So we finally hear y'all, the Aaron Thomas experience. First of all, this is my first event that I'm putting on myself. I've been, I've been hearing around town, you know, that I hit you. I really don't think Rico hit me. I really don't know Aaron. Mm -hmm. um, Yo, say I went to his event, but like I really wanted, I want to sit down and get to know him. Well, he been trying I to talk to me. Uh, from what I heard, Aaron Thomas is it was his original name. He changed his name once he became a uh, LGBTQ RB artist. I did want to talk to you about something important, and that is our engagement. We're going on the trip for Neat Neat because Neat Neat, we know you're getting married in July or sometime this year. Now you know a bitch like me not gonna turn down a trip. The only thing is, I'm still trying to figure stuff out at the house. So, are you gonna let me hear some of your, song, your music? You wanna hear some of my music? Of course. I'm so impressed with his music. Like, I'm so happy that he found an outlet. First of all, there's no way that I would know somebody got a weapon on them and not try to do nothing. You decided in this moment to bring up something, accusing something of me, my character, that like I knew he was gonna do, do no, all I, that. I didn't, I didn't accuse you, baby. I, I'm, I get slightly tired of I being- I can't, I just can't. No, I'm, I'm a grown ass matter. bitch, no, I just wait, wanna wait, talk. Wait, I mean, wait, but you don't wait, be cursing wait. and yelling right now. You wait on me. Therapy not working. What's that? Did I get upset? That shit is fucking embarrassing. That shit is fucking embarrassing, bitch. I don't have fucking time for that. Girl, therapy not working. What's up? Did I get upset? Can I pay for my stuff so I can go? Cause they're about to fucking annoy me. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. So in this moment, I feel like I had to leave because I was getting frustrated and I don't like confrontation, honestly. And I know it may seem like I do, but I do not like confrontation because when things start getting high, people get to yelling at me. So the only other thing for me to do was suppress that. And as me suppressing it was just making me emotional because I was already being vulnerable with him. Can you just cash out for me? Please, yes, I gotta go. I can't, I can't do another second. I can't do another second, listen, Kendra. Listen, 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 mm -hmm. baby. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I can't do another let's, second. Let's come over here by the waterfall. I am in the middle of this shit, once again. You can't walk off like that, you know? So let's go back and let's approach this and, and get it out and, and let's do this right, y'all. What is going on? I miss so much. No, it's what nothing. is it that Kendra, I don't know? All I asked was, if I just want to know if he had, if, if, if that's your friend. If Dominique was, if Dominique was, was your friend too. No, I'm, I'm saying Rico Castellani is, is, is Oliver's friend. That's his, that's his good girl. So if, if, if I come to somewhere and I say, well, girl, I'm in a fight, da, 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 I just want to know if he knew that he had mates that he was gonna spray the crowd. Regardless of that's your character or not, I ask that because other people are asking that question. And I don't want that to come to you and it'd be like, oh, it'd be a big bang. So I ask you that here so that if, if it came up, I could defuse the situation about he already said that didn't happen, whatever. I don't got time. I think that if you would go back for me, do this one. And, and just try to have an understanding. This is what Troy does. He creates situations that don't have to be. And when he is back into a corner of getting his ass morally spanked because he has done wrong, he flips the situation, becomes a victim, Runs and create a scene. How the hell you you talking about this is not what you do, but bitch, you the one who doing it. Me and Kira just sitting down looking at your crazy ass, holler, scream, walk off with your purse. Bitch, I got the shit and throw out right now. I could have stayed in my bed if I was gonna be dealing with this foolishness. I wasn't in the fight. I didn't start the fight. I didn't do anything. Why am I addressing another butch queen's problems? This ain't got a fucking thing to do with me. Nor what clearly do got it got something to do with you because you're the one who started it. I want us all to go to therapy together. I, I, I really just I still don't I still don't understand what went wrong. Nobody, nobody in the surrounding area knows what went wrong. Nobody. I heard what you said, said that I'm a toxic friend. I'm not a toxic friend because if that was me, 
I wouldn't have let you be in my house and in my area talking to my mom. That that's was not toxic. Me. No, that's that not was because toxic you just blew up. I didn't know what was going on. Because at the end of the day, I'm sitting here trying to have a conversation with you. You don't have to get loud and but, do all that. But in, but in us getting loud, it was none of us, at least not her, and I was in a spirit because of you, anger. Because you and, you and Kendra are not having a conversation with each other. It's me and you, and I'm asking you conversations about people that I hang around. You don't, I, when, when they're around, I don't let them just be shady to you. It, that's, Who was being people, shady? I, I wasn't getting loud with you. I really was trying to That talking loud thing really triggers you, I see. It does. I see. It does. We got to. Very, very, very bad. And you, but you're taking it as a joke for me, and that's something that I'm really, real life dealing with. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not being funny about it. I'm just saying, but it's like, is, is that our fault? Like, that you have that. Like, that's something, and I'm just. No, I don't. Ah. No, because he really, it's like he's making fun of me. I don't like that because I really do have some shit going on in my fucking life that I'm fucking working with. Uh, I mean, we all have stuff going on in our lives. I'm not bringing what I bring, what's going on in my life here. Y'all please. So I'm getting emotional because I feel like Oliver's not understanding where I'm coming from, you know, just as a friend, as a person. And him not trying to understand where I'm coming from at this point and then trying to throw back at me, oh, well, we're all going through shit and all this kind of stuff, whatever case may have you. But you know, I'm in therapy. I'm trying to. Learn how to woosah, so I got my ass up and I left. Cause I could've threw that drink over there with him getting slick out the mouth of me. It doesn't have to be a thing. It doesn't have to be a thing. And it's a projection. Like you're projecting what you feel like is going on. That's not fair. That's not fair. We all got stuff going on. We all, we all fucked up in our lives. We all got shit we crying about. Everybody want to be big dogs and big this. I like it. It don't take all that. And we was just sitting here keying. So today y'all are able to see more of my styling work. I'm here styling my homegirl's video shoot and also a photo shoot as well. Her name is Asia Sparks. She's an actress, model, and rapper and all of the things. So I'm happy to be here to style her shoot. And also just to kind of show everybody what I've been doing lately. Thank you so no much. Problem. Give me some time. Mm. My friend. Always. Oh, we started. We started with uh, Dirty Game, the movie. Yes. And now we're here. And I appreciate it. I feel like um, you have really jump started my soul styling career right now because I had stopped for a minute. So I really appreciate it. Um, and it's just we just gonna take off. Like it's gonna be a it's gonna be a beautiful thing. It do not matter about the stops. Like when Beyonce put out an album, what right. Beyonce do? She take yeah, her break, she get did her life. Break, got pregnant, had about three five kids. Get her yeah. experience, yeah. and then she come back. How did what Nikki say? She said I had a baby, uh -huh. and she said and now. <laughs> It's game time, bitches. <laughs> Period. It's game time. Period. But no, so what's I, I, going on I, I, though? Because you bringing it up, so now I'm feeling like, what's going on? Anybody, Jillian somebody making you doubt who you bullshit. are? Bullshit. Dealing with bullshit. That's uh, all. When you hang with a group of people, they have a lot to say. They have a lot to say as far as like what you're doing and what you're not doing and all this other shit. But as you can see, Period. Period. Right. You know experience. what I'm saying? So it's like I'm trying to ignore all the people in my ear and just focus on what I'm doing. Me posting everything on social media does not further my brand as far as to let everybody know, hey, this is what I'm doing. I kind of like to move in silence and then when everything is put together, then I will put out my work. So, Ignore it. Because yeah. one thing I can say about this like social media era too, mm -hmm. like everybody, if they don't see you posting it, then that mean it ain't happening. Right. But that's not how that's we not work. How do it, that's no. not how we work. <laughs> you do so much. And that's yeah. why I think like people who are really like hands on behind mm -hmm. the scenes, y'all do so much and y'all really should be like appreciated for that. And that's why I appreciate everybody and everything that you've done for me. Like, because you know me, I called you super yeah. hectic. Like, we got Stress two music videos, out, right. yeah. two music videos, EP cover shoot, mm -hmm. then we got promo stuff, you know, Double Cross is coming out February 3rd, and you've really been just like, you know, you, being that one person that just tear, like, one of tear, people. Tear. No, seriously, <laughs> you were like one of those people who really was just like, no, we yeah. gonna, it's gonna be fine, we, and gonna, we gonna get do it, it together. Yeah, most definitely. I work very well under pressure, so it's just like, let's do it. You let me know what you need, and then we're going to get to it. It's a dope experience being with her today. And also, I've been working with her in the past. We did an uh, independent movie that I styled her for called Dirty Game. I mean, it's coming out real soon, so check that out. We had Dutch that also executive produced the film. So it was a dope experience even working with her then. So I greatly appreciate her for giving me these opportunities to kind of show my work in this industry. Well, I appreciate hey, you again, friend. I love you. Oh, mm. And we need to get out of here before we have to ask her. Studio oh, sale. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
Today is my photo shoot launch. I've been doing photography for about five years now. And you know in Atlanta, you gotta have multiple bags. So I'm super excited to be shooting. I saw that all my photography slots. I can't wait to make everybody look real, real good and stuff like that. So today I had the privilege of shooting Dominique's new brand. Now this is my first time vibing with Dom. I wanna have a heart to heart with Dom. Really get to know him, man. Hopefully he could get to know me too. So you excited about Tennessee? I am. First of all, I ain't been in the trip in a while, and I haven't seen everybody in a while, so. Yeah, what well, you mean? Because clearly I haven't <laughs> seen you around. I don't even deal with my mental health. Like, when I was explaining, like, I'm buried to myself, like, I just feel like the hardest thing is, oh, so I never see myself in competition with nobody. Mm -hmm. I'm real nice and super genuine. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes that can be tarnished in the atmosphere. Certain individuals, you know what I'm saying? Understood, because the energy has been very weird around here lately. Mm -hmm. And I can understand why people have began to build up these walls and say, hey, boundaries have been set. Yeah. You over here, you over there. But I never want you to feel like you can't reach out or like we can't hang out because I did notice that you wrote me when you seen what was at the soft lunch, brunch yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But honestly, there was everybody that had dogs in the group. And I, if I got to know you, maybe your family members got a dog. Mm -hmm. I could have invited you. So I do apologize for not reaching out. You're good. I yeah. think that has a lot to do with it too. Like a lot of people feel like I might be stuck up or not accessible yeah. or stuff like that. And then I can see that. Now I'm reevaluating myself, I can see that. I've been dealing with my mental health lately and I don't got no time for no therapist. I just rather be to myself and adjust accordingly. So, I mean, what, what do you think this trip is going to get? I mean, it's going to be fun. Now, I don't know how the whole room setup going to be because mm -hmm. I heard that there's going to be some car shuffling, baby. Oh so, my God. So who do you look like? like? Who do you feel like you'll be in the room with? Um, or you feel like dealing with? I feel like it should be with somebody I don't really find. Get to know somebody new. Yeah, and that's what I want to do. That's so. what I want to do. It's stuff like Drew Friday. Um, who else? Rico with a K. I know he's an, he's an artist as well. Right, so right, right. I, want to I thought you and Rico too. was like. I'm not really familiar with him like that. What? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Child, I heard he was a super fan. Child. So I don't really know Rico with a K like that, but he gives me super fan vibes. Like ever since the day I met him, oh my God, I love you. I love everything you do. I love your music. And I can't really tell if it's genuine or not. This is just playing devil's advocate. So would you roll with like a Troy or I like, like Troy. a me? Troy's been ghosting me, but I like Troy. What you mean? <laughs> So I ain't been going fraud, y'all. I like Troy a little bit. I got a little crush or whatever, you know what I'm saying? We talked earlier this year, we vibed a little bit, and it just didn't work out. I guess he wasn't interested in what I was interested in. He kind of gave me like, take care of him type vibes, and I ain't nobody sugar daddy, you feel me? <laughs> I like Tom Wilkes. Oliver's cool people, I like his energy. He's always live, that's me all day. I don't, I don't, I don't see that much, but Jay, um, who else? Um, I want to Miller too. Yeah, yeah. Lula, she's so dope. Lula's I feel like she got the energy. I like crazy. like real stern. Yeah, crazy but yeah. stern. Like she don't flex. You know and I'm glad we're going to Tennessee because that's where she from. Her uh, okay. Like, oh, um, she gonna let that. Maybe we can home. feel something in the air. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how Tennessee does it again. You want to get one more round and then yeah, we'll uh, take next person. You may have another look for this one. No, this is. So having this photo shoot with Dom was really, really dope. I got to get to know him a little bit more. I could tell he got a lot going on, but for him to come to my photo shoot launch is like the best feeling ever. Like I really thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. The photos came out really dope and I'm glad that you loved them. Um, the family gonna be open. Oh, so I'll see you in Tennessee. I'll see you on Tennessee. <laughs> and I ask for your team sing. Now if I ask you to go on what? If I ask you go on back around with me, don't look at me crazy. You can sit in the back of me. How about that? Okay. <laughs> Y'all nervous. Nobody getting jealous, y'all. Nah, nobody gonna get jealous. Y'all be in the room together. Uh-huh. Keep my eye on y'all. Coming up on Chasing Atlanta. I remember you were saying you was wanting to talk to me something about identity. What's going on with that? You know, I've, with, I would say within the last six months, I've been like dealing with identity. Do you want to become a trans woman? So if you were to go back to that time, when that happened to you, what are the things that you would say? So there are a 
are three things that I need to have in this life. The first being great sex. The second is not having anxiety. And then the last thing is being compensated for my time at all times. Amen. So if you're somebody that likes to have sex, but also doesn't want to have to worry about the constant anxiety about HIV and STIs, I definitely suggest checking out Project Peach. Um, they compensate you for your time. It's a paid prep study um, through Emory University. So if that's something that you've been thinking about, definitely check it out. Link is in my bio. And I'm nobody's influencer. So if y'all want to DM me, ask me questions about the study or anything like that, my DMs are always open. All right, that's all I got. Bye. Help me welcome Academy Award winning actress and comedian, the legend herself, darling, Monique. Hey, my baby! Hey, my baby! So today, we are on the set of Turned Out with T.S. Madison on Fox Soul, where I have the pleasure of being not only one of the creators of the show, the executive producer and editor. I am so excited because today, we are interviewing Oscar Award winning comedian, one of my biggest inspirations of all time, Monique! I am so grateful and honored that you are sitting here with me because you know, you are a, 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 an extreme queen of comedy and a, a comedian that I have looked up to my entire life. So as y'all know, I've worked with TS as her content creator for the last six years. And what started off as a professional relationship has blossomed into a full love affair because she is my gay mother. I've had so many firsts with TS Madison. First time touring around the US performing, first time working outside of the United States. And now my first time ever creating a show, pitching a show to a major network and getting it picked up. And the fact that we are here today on our show featuring Monique, and we all know what happened a couple years ago, okay? It's a full circle moment. Squirtle. Okay. Hey. Squirtle for turtle. Yes. What's going on? What's hey, going Steven? Hey. How are you? I'm all right. Mwah. So how you feeling? That was so good. You know, to be honest with you, I'm all right. Mm -hmm. um, plus, you know, that was a real full circle moment for me with Monique mm -hmm. being there because you know, at the end of the day, I didn't get a chance to have any closure with her. And that was like some real closure for me. This is really my time, to be honest with you, you know. But what's the tea, girl? You got all this other work that we got to do. What you breaking me up to do, honey? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Why are you? I'm just... Girl, because I'm little, you know I'm a very busy, a very busy lady. What's girl. going on? I remember you were saying you was wanting to talk to me something about identity. What's going on with that? <gasps> I was I was curious to know. You called me a, about some identity thing. What was that? You know. Are you a woman? Yes, but I'm also a man. I I'm also a man. Oh, um, and this is this is this is the real thing. You know, I've with I would say within the last six months, I've been like dealing with identity. Do you want to become a trans woman? No, like I don't want titties. I don't want, I don't want like nails. I don't want, you know, wigs, something like that. Like I still want to maintain my like masculine features and stuff like that. But like even growing up, I've always felt like I've been both a man and a so woman. Too like pretty. naturally, like naturally, Madison, you know, girl, I'm hips, thighs, shape, busting around. I got a pretty face. I have, I have a, I have a natural. So the boys have told you that your face is pretty? Yes, they have. Oh, okay, girl. <laughs> but it's like, I do feel like there's always been like a two spirit type thing going on, going on with me. I have dealt with body dysmorphia. I have dealt with like, am I really like, my, like, what does my body look like? Is it really the reflection of how I see myself? And it's like, am I like, I've been thinking like, am I like non-binary? So I thought I was probably non-binary. And I was like, no, because I'm okay with people calling me a guy. I'm okay with people calling me a woman. So it was very important to me that I spoke to TS because not only is she an advocate in our community, but she's like a mother figure to me. And we've had many in-depth conversations about many of things and I knew if I came to her about this, she would give me the honest to God truth. I wear women's perfume, I get my nails done. Like, do I talk to somebody? Like, is there like a test I take? Do you feel like that there's something mentally wrong with you? No. So who do you need to talk to about it? Why don't you just live? What is the reason that you need to go and see a therapist about or talk to someone about the way you want to express your, your, your identity? 
What are you facing traumas in this? No. So what do you need? What do you feel? Why do you feel that you need to talk to somebody? You're surrounded by by gender nonconforming people, trans people, gay. You're surrounded by the entire spectrum. So what what is what's the reason that you think that you would need to go talk to somebody about? I don't know. I guess I was just like nervous, making sure I'm doing the right thing. No, for real. Like just nervous, making sure I'm doing the right thing, make sure I'm like going through it the right way. You know what I'm saying? Like, Are you going to transition? No, I don't want to transition. I do want to get some work done to my body. I what do. What kind of work you want to have done in your body? I do. Like, this is a real conversation. Like, I've thought about, like, do I want to do a facial film? Do I want to get my, like, my, do I want to get my, do I want to take some stuff out and add it other places to really, like, create the vision of myself that I see in my brain? Like, these are the things I think about, honestly. I have options. I have resources. I have people I can talk to. And I wanna explore before I do anything serious. I mean, I don't think that you should talk to anybody, but if you feel that you need to get some therapy about it, I'm not the girl that you're gonna talk to because I'm gonna confuse you even more. I'm gonna tell you to do it. Because you have to do what makes you happy. Life is this fast. Mm -hmm. And it could be snatched away from you, honey, in the midst of you thinking about going to get you some body work. You know, I was watching, you know what really brought it home for me? When I was watching um, Lovecraft Country, mm. And remember that being the two-spirited thing. The two-spirited being. And I looked at it and I was like, that's how I feel. Like I don't want it like Well, that was the moment for me in 1992 when I saw the crying game and I, I was introduced to Dill. RuPaul was was galloping around television and things like that. And I knew I wasn't that because I'm not a drag queen. But I knew when I saw Dill in 1992, bitch, I was 16 years old. And I saw this person reveal themselves and they had little boobies and a penis and i was like that's it that's that's me right there you just gotta really really honestly sit with yourself can't nobody tell you about who you are you gotta sit with yourself girl you know ts is right at the end of the day if it makes sense to you that's all that matters and i've watched this woman up close and personal for years march to the beat of her own drum without looking for validation from anyone. And I feel so much better just talking about it with someone. And I feel confident, I really do. So we'll see what happens. Now I didn't know that she was really going through this kind of shit. Like this was the very first time me ever hearing about you. When you call me about, yeah girl, I wanna talk about identity. What the fuck is you talking about, girl? You're Oliver Twix. What is? What, there's there's no other identity. Sit down and talk to yourself about what you wanna do. I love you. And come on now, cause I gotta get back over here. I'm sick of these people worrying me over here. And they need to fill my cup back up. Okay, child, we gotta go mic this stuff up. Come on. Right, yes. Girl, your pussy is so large. I know, that's why I tell you, 50 years old, walking around with an anaconda's like this in the back. It's gonna need, I must say, I have been watching you Tell for them. years. I have every comedy special from the red leather to the to the to the um the red leather is my favorite one. I can quote that from word to word. I have every movie. But I really do thank you. I love you so much. I love everything that you do. Everything that you stand for it really inspires me. And I just I love I love what you do for her. What y'all represent it really means a lot. So when I found out that you were a guest today, oh my child, I was like. Full circle moment. Thank you, my baby. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I probably don't remember. You make like a whole joke about us. It was my mom. She was in the front row with her lesbian girlfriend. No, God. <laughs> <laughs>
before speaking with you, I couldn't, I really had shut down to where I couldn't feel and I had no emotions towards anything mm -hmm. and to where I didn't even want to be around people. Like I just was in my own space because I only understood how I felt. Mm -hmm. But after speaking with you, it seemed like I just started to feel everything, even from just being, you know, in a new um, relationship, dating, like in just a lot of things happening. I've been able to feel so much to where it's like the smallest thing has been making me, you know, break down kind of thing. So me and my dad have a, it's a good relationship, but I think the only time that we actually converse and talk is through my mom. Like I rarely hear him call my phone. I rarely call his phone. So it's just kind of like, I don't know, it's been a staggering kind of relationship over the years, but I love my dad a lot. And you know, I want to be able to have that conversation with him and feel confident that at the end of the conversation, everything is going to remain the same. So one of the things that we honestly deal with as black gay men is that we tend to lack that support from our actual father, okay? As a child, um, I'll never forget I was in my room and I had ripped like paper in half and placed it on like a sticker and placed it on my nails as if it was nails. And uh, he walked by my room and he was like, um, what you want nails on your fingers? And I was like, um, and I was just looking at him like, you know, like, you know, I didn't know what to say because I had been caught, like, you know, playing around with my with my fingernails. And um, he was like, you want me to go uptown and tell your cousins, them, that you in here putting nails and stuff on your hands and doing this, that, and the third. He kind of used that setting against me as like, okay, well, you either going to act tough or you either going to, you know, stop doing that or I'm going to tell these people and that's going to like technically turn them against me like that. But it was like, okay, like, you, I got to toughen up. Like I got to walk around and, and like I got to adapt in my walk. I got to stop holding my hands like this when I do certain things. Like I got to stop being me. And I knew that at a young age. And it's like, I'm, and I think now I'm, that's why I'm just now being able to come who I am at 27 because I've been so afraid of what he was going to think. So as y'all know, I've come out of my shell a little bit around, you know, the group and around my friends, but not being able to show my personality to everyone that, you know, I say that I love or that I have in my life, it kind of hurts me because I feel I've been having to hide that for so long over the years. And it just sucks that even at a grown age, you can't solely be you 24 seven around everyone because you just don't know how they're gonna feel or if they're gonna love you how they should. So if you were to go back to that time when that happened to you, what are the things that you would say? What are the things that 11 or 12 year old Troy would say in that moment? I would tell my dad one, like, you know, don't threaten me to kind of take away the only relationships that I have because I don't have any siblings. These people are like my siblings. I'm just expressing something else that I, you know, you know, expressing something that I kind of feel comfortable with doing. Mm -hmm. And I would also just let him know, like, you know, I think this is who I am. And I don't know if that's who I'm gonna be, but in this moment, this is what I feel. That's the reason why I don't I don't like to show my personality in a sense mm -hmm. because I just automatically feel like people are gonna judge me. I'm gonna cry. It's okay. But it kind of gets to me because I don't want him to feel like you know. Okay, well, I buy him certain things, so I gift him certain things, mm -hmm. and then you know he's standoffish. Mm -hmm. But I want you to know that I do love you, and I appreciate everything that you have done because. It's a step up from things that haven't been done. Although you're not Troy's biological father, for you, what has that relationship been like in his life as it impacts your life? I love Troy, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I have, you know, Troy went to school with my son. So being able to kind of have that bond with him and kind of talk with him and, and express to him just how proud I am of him and all that he's accomplished and all that he's doing now. Um, I think that I definitely would like it to be stronger. Mm -hmm. um, 
but I am willing to be here, you know. And so I, this is not a rush thing. It's not a, you got to do it today. But like, I want you to come closer because I am here. Honestly, Troy, because you're, you are, you're getting older and, you know, there come situations where you may find parents wanting to make up for lost time. Yeah. I think about that all the time. Mm -hmm. I think about that all the time. But no, thank you for driving down and coming yes. to see me. I told myself I wasn't quite there. <sighs> Trying to keep it's it together, okay. but I really do appreciate it. You're more than welcome, Troy. So in the community, I feel a lot of fathers feel that they can't have a relationship with their sons because it may be looked at as an embarrassment or people may feel some type of way about it. But at the end of the day, you have to be able to love your child for who they are and what they are because, you know, we still need, you know, that, especially as gay men, we need that fatherly love to continue to show us how to be men and continue to be able to help us maneuver in this cruel world. I'm still kind of holding in emotions because I don't, necessarily know how to let them go because I really don't know how to feel but in this moment I feel better knowing that if I just begin to make steps and show you know bring up certain conversations to my dad maybe we will see a change and maybe there will be a difference the Blue Lagoon, my home, and me and my sister, Willow, we do, you know, self-care Saturdays. And we hear a na 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 knock at the door. And who is it? It is my poo, the head nerd in charge, Oliver. Wanted to come over and, you know, talk to Willow and I, and you know, have a meeting in the ladies room, a little Ponzerosa. Let's go. Oh, you. Let me show Willow how to do this right now. Make one. You I'm not gonna make, make, make one for you, though. No, I'm gonna make one for you first. Mm -mm. Did you get your little meat? This tortella tastes like she got a hint of rosemary in her. Listen, I've spoken to these girls on the phone a lot, but today is the first time we've ever actually hung out together, just the three of us. Of course, I'll always come bearing gifts, a little drink, a little food to expand the people's palates, add some color to their diet. And I'm gonna talk to them about some important things that I've been going through regarding my identity. How y'all feel about this cabinetry? <laughs> Oh, I don't, don't know how I feel about these kids. It's definitely going to be a broke back mountain experience. It truly is. Yes. I, I want to, I want to play a game. You get fun. That sounds like soft. That's fun, man. I want to play a game. I want to get y'all a game. So I'm going to get cut up. And drag. I want to get oh, I would love game. that. I want to do like a main, like a mini, a mini game mm -hmm. and have y'all do like, put yourselves in geesh and then do like a lip sync. Well, I ain't going to be able to do it, so what I need to, can y'all make me a boy? You mean the book queen? I want to make you a judge. It's me and you the judges. You mean the book queen? Oh, I, so I thought you were going to make me a boy. The book queens are the group? Oh, oh, mm, the book queens are the group. I want you, Troy, and Neek Neek. So it's actually interesting that she brought up about like, you know, the butch queens uh -huh. and shaving and get up and geesh because I really wanted to talk to both of y'all about this. You know, I love you and Willa, I've always just, I've always just liked you. Yeah. And I feel like both of y'all in the group are like probably two of the most sure people of what they are and like how they identify. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to talk to both of y'all because I've been like having like some new ideas about myself that I'm okay. trying to like navigate and like figure what? out. So I was talking to her, I actually had this conversation with Madison. Um, Y'all know Tia, so mm -hmm. my game on all the other stuff. And I was just talking to her about like, how I feel like I'm a two-spirited person. Okay. Like how I feel like I am both man mm -hmm. and woman. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so like, I've just been going through, girl, not both y'all just sharing. <laughs> We're getting that funny conversation. Oh my God. So it's like, I've always, growing up since a little boy, I've always felt like I was a woman. Uh -huh. I've gotten treated like a woman. Like, I, didn't, I don't really have that same gay experience growing up that other people talk about. Like, it was bullied and stuff like that. Like, the boys that I used to hang around, like, always respected me. I was just thinking one day, I was like, okay, is it that I'm 
non-binary? Like, do I just see myself as like something outside of, outside of being a man or a woman? But I'm like, no, because I ascribe to both. Like, well, can I say? Well, I'll say. I'll just say for me, like, just with me being trans, I wouldn't say that I per se ever knew that I was trans or whatever, because I had never really seen trans or had never really experienced or had been around trans. I just had thought back of the things that I was doing as a kid. Like I loved makeup. I loved hair. Like I loved nails. Like I used to paint my uh, fingernails with markers and stuff. I just was so like feminine. And I just, I don't know. I never in life knew that this was why, like this was what it was. Like you were, you know, getting into it until I was like, what, 23? And they just hit me. I'm like, this is it. Like this makes sense or whatever. So this conversation with Oliver is very familiar to me because I have transitioned myself. It took a lot of, you know, soul searching and back and forth in my mind to make sure that I was absolutely doing the right thing. But when I understood that it was, I became me. Now granted, I didn't become me overnight. So nobody's, you know, everybody's not perfect when they first start out. But I just always believed in a slow perfect, never a fast fuck up. So I took my time and here I am. Because a lot of people get a misconception, especially, you know, cisgender women, into thinking that all trans women aspire to be, you know, women or whatever the case. I identify as a trans woman. Like, I don't, I'm, I ain't a girl. I'm, I'm, I'm not a cis female. I am a trans woman and love it and proud of it. I'm in my lane. You sound just like T.S. Oh I'm, I'm, in, my, I'm in my lane. Oh, that's, that, oh my gosh. I have looked up T.S. forever. I will say for me, I don't identify as trans. I did go through a period and I soft heavy. That's when I found my therapist because I wanted to figure out why I felt so comfortable within my drag and not as Ramir and my boy. I just had to realize and just speaking with my therapist, I like being a boy. I like myself. However, I didn't find myself attractive. So I had to learn to love myself and my masculine features. Do I love Drew? That's my favorite bitch. Mm -hmm. She fine as fuck. However, I do know that I'm not trans. Going through this year and starting therapy in 2020, I was battling with self-esteem issues and sexual identity issues. Like, yeah, Drew is a bad bitch. It's pretty. However, Ramir doesn't always feel as cute. And I'm starting, I started getting to that point where in therapy, I separated the two because ultimately I have to make the best decision for me. And before I can even just try to change anything that I see physically, I have to make sure that I'm ultimately in love with the person, with, with me on the inside before I can change whatever is on the outside. You have to navigate and find what you want to label yourself as because I don't mind when people call me boy, girl, her, she, sis, him. I'm cool with all those pronouns. However, just like you, the they, them, I know that that's not me. It's scary. It's very scary because it's like, I feel like I'm getting born again, you know? I do know, I do like honestly really need like just people to talk to about it and be like yeah. there for me. And that, that's why like, I like, I wanted both of y'all here because I feel like y'all have gone down that road and y'all kind of know like what it, what it looks like. I'm scared, I'm, like, oh, I'm very terrified. I really commend Oliver for calling me and I just thank him for even thinking of me to be somebody to come and have this conversation with. I just feel like it's important for people to know who they are and just live in their truth and do whatever they want to do. So anybody that wants to transition or is something you've been thinking about, do it. If you feel like that's going to make your life better, you feel like that's who you really are, do it. Hands down. I want to toast. Let me toast to We toasted to you yeah, finding yourself, got in the cup you <laughs> loving yourself, you accepting yourself, <laughs> and we also toasting to going to get these bodies done. And that's yes. yes. Hello? On oh, Willis credit card. <laughs> Hold on, where my person had it? After hearing Willa and Drew share their experience, I first of all felt very safe. Like, I was like, oh my God, I'm surrounded by people who have gone through some of the same things I'm currently now going through. And to see them now looking beautiful, confident, Regal, 
in their presentation and what they do, it makes me want to feel that same way. And like, it, it makes me feel amazing. It makes me feel like I have a support. It makes me feel like I got people that's going to direct me, mentor me, and it's like, yeah, Miss Oliver, you can do this. You can do this. Thank you much. Okay, I gotta get ready for show, so I gotta get out. You ain't kicking me shit. I'm finna go get in your bed. Y'all yeah. sleep in the bed together. Mm -hmm. Oh girl, I can't do all that. We lesbians. I see. Coming up on Chasing Atlanta. Lil' Kendra! Mm -hmm. oh. You know I want you, baby. Mm -hmm. support here. I got Willa, she on the hair. I got Drew hair, Rico with a K, of course management, wearing the pain. And I also got my sister Anisha. This video finna be serious. When I first met you, I thought that I had something special. I loved you, you loved me. Now it's disrespectful. You hired your love with many different faces. Bitches texting your phone, now I'm dodging cases. Fuck this shit, I'm the main chick. What bitch you know gonna put up with you and all of your Bullshit. What comes easy won't always last, but what will last, it never comes easy. I am really proud of Kendra because the quality, the money she has put in, she looks amazing, her hair looks amazing, the clothes look amazing. Kudos to her for really, you know, elevating. That's what she's doing, she's elevating. When my good sister called me to get on the hair, of course I had to come through. And I thought nothing other than to bust my sister straight on down. So we bone straight at home on now. We did a little side part. And my sister looks fabulous and she killed it. It's windier than a motherfucker outside. But baby, I am outside right now. It's just watching Kendra in the growth she has had. Look at her old music videos to where she is now. This high rise is, she doing her thing. And I love it. Baby, Wayne did his big one. Wayne did his big one. Man, this day is so much work, but I just had to take time out and really look at Kendra and notice that she's so beautiful and she actually making her dreams come true. And that's what I wanted to see, and that's why I'm here. I my number, not calling my phone. Here go a quarter, go call Tyrone. Model, you gotta, you know, you gotta do things for the check. Now, it was actually great kissing uh, T.S. Little Kendra, if you want to be real. She, she was a little scared to kiss me and commit, but you know, we still did what we had to do for the shot. So, you know, you know, we did it. <laughs> Now, this side right here, as I'm doing a video shoot and everything, you know, in my mind, I'm just like, you know, I, I part of me can't believe that I'm writing a song like this or that I. Even I'm even doing a video shoot because I thought I was happy. I thought this was it for me, you know. And to be up here, it's it's kind of sad and hurting, and, but at the same time, it's closure for me. I'm ready to move on, you know. Sometimes in relationships, you think that you found the one and this is it, and it's okay when you split and go y'all separate ways. Sometimes God got a different road for you. I can't use this as. I, I hate you or I can't stand you. I gotta use this, this as, you will always be my bae, with or without me. My oh, heels off. Yay. Come on, Miss Lisa. Like ah. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. 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 Look at this. Look at much, girl. girl. It's it's cold. Cold. Yeah. As a motherfucker. How you doing? Get How you doing? How you doing? You look amazing. You know what's the thing? I touch your boobie. Yeah, go ahead. I'm joking. <laughs> You, 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 you. Lauren might get me, but you. Oh, oh. 
bitch. Good bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I invited right. Dominique. He wants to come and show his support, but he had to go to work. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he was he dropped his stuff off. Yeah. Um, that was fine. He could have came. He oh, dropped his stuff off. He had a, um, oh. he had a client. Shit. He came. He dropped his stuff off. He had to go to his client. Oh, okay. But yeah, he thinks it's good. So, tell us about the song. Well, the song, it was based off of my last relationship. Oh, know? wow. So you it, really went through all of that stuff? Yeah. I really went through most of it. The phone was lighting up in the middle of the night. I'm like, okay. Nigga, who calling you? <sighs> it's 3 o'clock in the morning. What's going on? Hey, you hey, know? Hey. I think it's little things like that that'll show you where you stand with a person. Mm -hmm. You know, respect and disrespect is two different things. I can't sit here and say I was an angel, but goddamn. It ain't what you do, it's how you do it. Mm -hmm. You know? But I love him enough to just let him live his life. I'm going to live mine, and he'll always be my best. Seeing my sister tell her story and rap it out and act it out in her video and stuff like that just kind of makes me think back to past relationships that didn't quite work out with me. I haven't really tried many, many relationships, but the ones that I have tried just for some reason just never seem to work out. And at some point I tried to maybe understand it might have been me. So I just kind of took a break or whatever and I'm working on me and just doing my thing or whatever. But I just come in my sister on sharing her story. Cause I feel like a lot of people go through what she has gone through. And I feel like it's a good thing that she shows what it looks like to kind of make it out of there. So, so about the trip. Are you ready? Are y'all prepared for the damn trip? Yeah. Listen, I'm prepared, I'm prepared to speak I'm with some sister. I'm about to be in everybody's bed. I'm gonna jump right in and be like, hey, Papa Reese, what you doing? Wake up. It'd be up. nice if I Get could up. bring a little snack with me. Oh, but no, no. We could buy a snack <laughs> on the appetizer. <laughs> Let's find a little Sorry. snack on the mountain. I would I'm really love, love to see you and Dominique talk. I would love to talk. Look, I don't have a problem with Dominique. I don't. Y'all are both saying the same thing. thing. Literally. So why, so why does it, if they don't have They a just haven't talked. They haven't talked. That's it. Am I missing something? I don't say it over and over. I don't have a problem with Dominique now. He probably went a little too far during the argument or whatever, but you know, I'm cool with that. I'm just going to bring my bell and, and give him a little spank. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's good. We real friends. <laughs> yes, I'm I, I, I really friend. miss everybody yeah. together. I'm tired of the drama. I'm tired of the bullshit. And I just want to like have positive times. Everybody be happy. Oh, oh, the no, boss man calling you. Oh, you gotta go. Love you. Right. Love y'all. Oh, we still got filming to do. We still got filming to do. Let's do it. Come on. We you get that booty in there. No, I'm sturdy like a milli rocket. Skin clear, still look young, and he miller knockers. Money in my pocket. Don't call me a money pocket. Engine get your rocket. It sound like a thunder rocket. Yeah, I still love my baby even when it's toxic. Crazy like she Britney, but no, she don't shade the knock. No, Russell what's the way I get low and stay in the pocket. I get paid and do my dance like a touchdown. Yeah. So tonight I'm with Cam and Cassidy. We done pulled up to Oliver Twix. This birthday party is gonna be a celebrity role, so it's no telling who's gonna be here. The place is really nice. It's decked out. Usually I'm not a fan of themed parties, and he said to wear black or white, but I think it's gonna be a good time. Everything looks great, amazing. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. no electric. electric. Now, y'all know the head nerd in charge had to invite the Dun Diva down to his birthday party. I'm not sure what's gonna go on, but I heard he got strippers. I got on my cute little black outfit. So I'm gonna tip in here and see what the party about, because you know I need to see these boys. Why your ass to them? I'm calling 911. What's your emergency? Somebody just stole my booty. <laughs> All right, y'all, we at Oliver's party. This is cute. Oh, bitch, they got stuff everywhere. I'm ready to drink, mingle, see what's up. Girl, them people here, Lord Jesus. You got the Jolly Green Giant, Polly Pocket, the dog, the Poopa Scooper, Jiminy Cricket, but I like Willa, so we ain't gonna, he, I ain't got no nickname for Willa. I like Willa. She just hanging out with the wrong people. I hope these people learn how to act and stay in their place because I'm not trying to bring drama to my friend's birthday, unlike others. Boom. Oh my God, y'all. I'm ready for the party to get started. Where the fuck Oliver at? Did she late? This is Oliver. He's been, he know he damn he, well he Oliver won't gonna be well, here. He told you he wasn't making an entrance. He said he was gonna be on time. So what he's trying to give, cause girl, at this point, I'm gonna go home. He better come down to some helicopter. Well, okay, we know, you, we know you'll fucking leave. <laughs> Bitch, he didn't cancel my plus one girl. I'm like, girl, I'm gonna go. <laughs> 
could have sworn that we were supposed to be here at 7 30. Like, you know, it's about what, 10, 9 30 or something like that. This man still ain't walked through this door. Come on, boy, come on, bring your ass on. I'm out here trying to celebrate your birthday and see these strippers, and your ass ain't even here yet. Always doing a damn diva moment. Why, Oliver? Oliver, be on time for once. Surprise my ass, goddammit. So, question How does it, you know, seeing everybody and something like that is the first time? It's cool. I yeah, mean, I saw Ike in there. Yeah, I saw Ike. You just really, I mean, you see people, you you see people, you don't see people. Hey, oh, Willa, you up? always got the fucking okay. happy. Oh, Willa! Uh, <laughs> Wait, where the fuck is Drew? I had to go and sit in there. Well, she said she had to change her outfit and then she was going Anything past that, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. okay. Well, girl, Willa, how you liking the inside of me and all that stuff? Oh, it's sickening. Very sickening. Yeah. I want to buy some shit. He got some Chanel. You're to match that Chanel at birth. Okay. Um, That's my period. Jay, you, what's going on? How, how are you? How are you feeling? It's been a rough couple of days. Mm -hmm. You did today. today? Well, that's good. good. Today. I'm glad that you're good today. I like today. these pants. Okay. Okay, bitch is getting very much snatched up in there. Okay, it's giving body yada 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 yada. But well, let's just lay. Let's head on let's the go back inside and just see what it's shop giving. around and it's see what's the tea. I want to spend some money, but I'm trying not to spend no money. Okay, period. Oh, excuse me, sir. board of food and he had alcohol you know if alcohol is there the drag queen is there <laughs> I'm fitted up. Fit up. Up in my car and look it up. Fit it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Up in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. That's it. Oh no, what's going on, y'all? Yeah, 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 yeah. Happy birthday, Oliver. So tonight we are celebrating my birthday. He's going from the two Excited. Listen, life has been very rough for a bitch like me. A breakup, Fox Soul is running my ass raggedy, and tonight is all about me. And I didn't have to do anything. My team, Trent and Shara, have surprised me with everything from the decorations to the people. I see Dr. Heavenly, Dr. Contessa, Shekinah Big Thick Ass, Paris, Taco from Legendary, Miss Sophia, and the biggest surprise of them all. Angelique Preston from America's Next Top Model, the real winner of Cycle 17 All-Stars, is here right now in front of me celebrating my birthday. Now, let's see what the people got for me. Happy birthday to you. Come on. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Give me some birthday music. I know you got me. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. 
Wait a damn minute. Now how a bitch go from shopping, doing a little drink and chit chat with my friends and stuff like that, to looking at all sorts of dangling and penises and, and things in front of me. I'm like, oh my God, there's so many long birds up in here. And they knew I was a fucking bird watcher. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> the dark barbie deactivates i i don't deactivate it i mean i don't care for dick no more i don't want to see ass i don't want to feel nothing at this point i just want to get up and just go sit down because right now it's, this shit is too much it's just literally shit in my area honey okay okay wait <laughs> we got the party started but this ain't the kind of party i'm used to bitch he didn't open his legs and he got a little poo poo back there. I'm not sure what he into, but I'm not into that. And I was excited to see y'all. So somebody put a diaper on this bitch because at this point, I know it's time to go. <laughs> <sighs> bitch, where my water at? Cause that was a lot. Is you recording? If you're into a lot of different things, a lot of different things were provided. Just, it was a shitty good time. That's all I can say. It was a, we had a shitty good time. Now this was a party, honey. This was the best shitty night possible. No shade, it was shitty. But everything else was beautiful. <laughs> Oh, they do. If you can't afford your own section in the club, you quit messing with 20 people to buy to get a section. How you getting shippers to come to Tennessee? He promised them my good pussy. That's how they call me. Do you understand me? He said you get to ride the willow, baby. And them motherfuckers paid the price. You know how that works. We finna get into the rose. Oh, God. We finna get into the rose. Kendra. Kendra was assigned to rose. Come on, Kendra. Everybody. Come on. Wish I did how was that? I got roasted. Listen, I talk a lot of cash buddy shit, and I feel like in order to be accredited shit talker, you have to receive just as much as you give. This is a sport to me, so I'm excited. So let me tell y'all about me and Oliver. I had an event, and here come Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I said, okay, so she thinks she's Beyonce. Cool. We just started having this feud, and it just seemed like we just never really got along. But normally, when I get into it with people, they'll just be quiet. This bitch. Oh, this bitch. She didn't know when enough was enough. I said, you know what? The universe came to me and it said, somebody don't pay her. But let me tell you, I love this bitch. For real. And sometimes you can argue and go through with people, but just because it looks shaky in the beginning, mm -hmm. it might work out at the end. Because I have been proud of you, baby. And I tell you all the time, and that's genuinely. Oliver, I'm so, so, so proud of you. And I'm happy that we are on good terms and that we ended the war. <laughs> we ended the war in the first place. But the disrespect <laughs> Yeah. But 
Oliver. Oh, I really don't fuck with Oliver. <laughs> I fuck with T.S. Madison and Oliver just comes with the package. T.S. <laughs> yes, Madison is she not here. She didn't mean to represent her. She is not coming tonight. She said she overslept. She did not oversleep. She came. She saw the size of the building. She said, fuck no. Nah. <laughs> I was building this up like we was going to be in the, uh, the stadium or something. She drove up this little boutique. She said she had to go, honey. <laughs> <laughs> but Oliver and I, we have never been friends. <laughs> <laughs> I am here. And all this, I love Oliver. No, I don't love Oliver. <laughs> I don't even know Oliver. <laughs> but coming in here, one thing I have learned about Oliver is all the bullshit he's been wearing on T.S. Madison's show. I see he buying from here. <laughs> But Oliver has never changed, but I'm telling you right now, you have gotten to an age where you've been wearing these glasses with no lenses. <laughs> but now, bitch, you in your 40s, all the frames you got, bitch, you're gonna have to go get some lenses. Put it in the frame. You look good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes. You smell good. Sometimes. <laughs> But Oliver has remained the same since the day I met him. We will always be connected through magic. <laughs> I've never had a birthday party like this to this extent. Shara did an amazing job. Bink and Bougie. An amazing job, the decorations, the food, the people, the entertainment. I just feel so blessed to be able to have this moment and share this moment. Like everyone's face in the room is smiling. Everyone's having a good ass time. And it's just like, whatever was going on before I walked in the doors, it doesn't matter. This was the first time in a long time where my brain just took a back seat and my little heart took the driver's seat and I was just having a good time. Like, I feel like I'm three years old right now and I don't want this night to end. I wanna have this moment for life. Overall, Oliver's party was very much tea. You know, he had it in a boutique like a Florida girl normally would, you know, period, in the, in, the, in the beauty store. But no, seriously though, it was very much an excellent event and I just loved just to see him all on the floor, like his picture everywhere, his name on all the glasses. It was very Oliver Twist, it was all about him. But no, and just to see his friends there, like Dr. Heavenly, Dr. Contessa, you know, Miss Sophia just in there giving us laughs and joy throughout the night. I loved everything about it and anytime, that girl throw something, you know, I might just show up and pop up and do a little one too. So overall, this was a great night. I feel like the vibe was right with everybody. I don't feel like I missed anybody as far as speaking to them that I know of. But I feel like everybody was in a good place. I mean, we were drinking, we were socializing. And I'm very happy for Oliver in this event. You know, he got his new little clothing brand coming out. So I'm excited to see where his clothing line goes and how far it goes as well. Grab your sister, grab your brother, call your cousin, call your grandma, okay, and save the day! Child, this season is gonna be full of delusion. Girl, look well, honey, well, I don't even know this old lady from the can of paint. Oh my god. This season's gonna be some wild ass bullshit. Oh, 
Try me, bitch. Try you Try me. You a bitch. This season is gonna take you for a ride. Do you have an issue with me sleeping in the cold No, I have an issue with people coming into the group creating confusion. Okay. I am that bitch, okay? I'm always and will forever be that girl, so don't try it. Don't come up in here in this motherfucking room when I say shit to you. You still trying to do that same late ass shit with that late ass fan, and that's why you get the energy that you get. Oh. so much this year. She lost her grandmother and she got a lot going on with her living situation. So today I invited some of the members from the group out just so we can show her love, support, and just let her know, girl, we're here for you. Because if we don't have each other, who do we really have? Okay, so I want to bring you guys together so we can release a couple of things. I've been talking to my counselor and he know that we're going to Tennessee. So I do know that um, Aunt Dad's birthday is coming up. And I gotta be honest, baby, thinking you, because you know, I know your grandmother's birthday passed. So this is something else that we can just do to show you that we're here to support you, you know? And. The day's been wonderful. Okay. Baby, don't cry. No. I don't know how Willa holds it together the way that she does. Uh, Willa's one of the strongest people I have ever met. I love that girl to death. And to watch her keep moving on and keep pushing, even after her grandmother passed away, I don't know if I would be able to do the same thing. The way me and my grandmother's relationship is, I couldn't imagine what it would be like without her. So I know Willa's hurting, but she's one of the strongest people I know, but she keeps moving, keeps pushing. And I just hope we can help her get through this moment. It's okay. This is so hard. That just looks like her. Like, it's so hard. I just don't feel okay. I just, I have not, I haven't felt okay since. I had just talked to my grandma. I had just talked to my grandma. This shit was fine. I can always call and talk to my grandma. I feel like I don't hear nobody now. Like, I got y'all. Yeah. But it's like... It's not just free. That was my best friend. Like, I really care every day. We both lost my friend. That was my girl. Willa is very strong. Her grandmother was her girl. And I know your girl is looking at you. And she is so proud. So just know that you're her legacy and you're doing her legacy cool. You're, she proud. She's still watching you, sis. She's still watching you. It's just not the same. I understand, I understand. And you kept her dolled up. Now this one thing you can say, sis. I'm talking about that's my number one client. This yeah. Is me. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, we're all getting to know each other, okay? Um, but there is one thing that we don't have to have conversations about. We could just really understand, and that's pain, and that's deaths. You could just tell that she's going through a lot mentally and emotionally, and right now all she needs is support. So I'm glad to be here to give her a hug, to give her a kiss, to say I love you, so that she can feel that love. And if she ever needs it, you know, it's definitely here. But this was a beautiful moment. Even though, you know, the, 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 the things didn't light up and fly and stuff like that, the love was still there, and that's what was flying through that air. So, and I'm glad to be a part of it. I feel better like than I did at first. I think I just kind of kept myself busy at first. Yeah. But yeah, I will be here right now. You will be. So growing up, I have always had a close relationship with my grandmother. Like I knew no love greater or no love tighter than hers. Like my grandma just loved me from the ground 
you know, to the moon. Like she just thought the world of me. So everything I did, I always did to kind of make my grandmama proud or just kind of show her like, look what your grandchild did or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like losing her really took a chunk out of me. Like that was the day that if I ever even tried to picture it in my mind, I would literally break down since a kid, I, if I thought about it. So it's like for that to be my reality now and for that to be what I'm like, what I'm living right now, it just seems unreal. Like my grandma was sweet. My grandma was kind. My grandma was wise beyond everything. And I feel like that's why it was important for me to get my life together with God. because I had to make sure that I was going to see my friend again. Like, I had to make sure that I had the chance, like, to see my grandma face again, like, and just hug my grandma again. Like, the little stuff like that is the stuff I miss, like the hugs, the phone calls, the checking on you, the laughing, the jokes, the talking. I'm not good with emotion anyway or whatever, and my grandma always kind of was the one to rear me in and just kind of helped me calm down and it's like I don't have that person anymore but I'm, I'm taking it a day at a time and I'm just trying to figure things out and I'm just trying to keep making her proud like even though she's not here physically she's not here in the physical I still can make her proud we ready to go to Tennessee have a good time yes ma'am yeah, need to okay yeah. love relax and release bitch hello <laughs> relax relate release I'm grown up Next time on Chasing Atlanta. We all just got here. We don't know what's going on. It's 13 of us. We all trying to pull it together. We all trying to figure it out. I kind of know my relationship's over. If I want to like mace you today, that's what I want to do. Everybody's fine, she it me. I feel like people choose to get shit started. Yeah, because of your question. We didn't care what never At the end of the day, we were fucking. Who did who? That's what I was about to say. Who was who and who? I'm tired of being drugged in and talked to disrespectfully, okay? I laid my life down on the line for every fucking trans woman. That was some shade. We chasing that letter. Look at what you blessed me with today. And I bless you.